Good evening, brothers and sisters in Christ. So I wanted to um, speak about something the Lord had put upon my heart. Um, I don't watch the news or read the paper, but um, I happened to open my YouTube account and see a video that Damascus is under attack and the Holy Spirit put upon my heart that he had given me a word on Damascus. So I looked it up in my notes and he had given me a word on December 2nd, 2015. The Holy Spirit said Damascus and he said there will be destruction there and I looked it up and it's in Syria. Um, at that time I didn't know the location. Um, he also said, you must silence your mind and clear your spirit to hear my voice. HS, I put Holy, HS is Holy Spirit. Um, horrible atrocities are happening to my children and others sit idly by. Nation will rise against nation, but I am all powerful and I am, I will not let my people falter. Death and destruction may come for a day, but I will not allow my um, chosen to lose the war shame will come to those who are not in alliance with her the shadows are coming to your great president at this time it was Obama and when they do the pride of his countenance shall cease to exist the man has two faces selfishness pride gluttony and greed he fills his pockets of sorrow pray pray now for your nation and your people I shall bestow upon the lowly, the riches of heaven, and the rich and prideful shall fall at my feet. Selah. Um, I also want to mention that um, the reason that I'm doing this, I never want to seem prideful, believe me. Um, but the Holy Spirit has put upon my heart to confirm specific words because um, he wants it to be known that he still speaks through prophetic people and that he is a sovereign God and that if he was the same yesterday, today, and tomorrow, then he um, still has the ability to utilize um, the prophets and people with prophetic gifts. So, um, like I said, I don't watch the news and I don't read the paper, but I know that he has put upon my heart to confirm specific prophetic words that he has given me. And he has warned me for years that um, there is a great shaking coming. So... Um, I, I have tried my best to do that, but on February 22nd, he was speaking to me, and um, I just want to remove that sticky note. It says, um, Israel confirmed. Um, this morning, I, um, I was fighting a spiritual battle, and I woke up feeling ill, um, and you know the demons can do that. And I had to go to war in the spiritual realm with God, the Father, and Jesus Christ, power and authority. They gave every Christian this ability to fight. Um, I am in my prayer closet. And I am praying for people, but the Lord is also speaking. So I will write it down. And he told me that two countries will come against Jerusalem, Israel. And those two countries are Iran and Syria. Now this is in February. I know nothing about world news. I do not watch world news, and I do not watch local news. Um, I do not read the paper, so everything I receive is from the Holy Spirit. I saw a war tank knocking down a wall in Jerusalem. People are yelling and screaming to stop. At this vision, I get sorrow in my heart. This wall is holy. The Jewish people pray here. Lord, help them. The Western Wall or Wailing Wall. The wall is a remnant of the Temple of the Mount, a holy place in Jerusalem. Then I see a tank firing at the people. I continue to pray for them. Help from God. Um, and then I wrote, confirm this happened because at the time that I received this prophetic word, I did not know um, that this was going to happen. I just write it all down. And um, I have a few people that are watchmen that uh, confirm things for me. Um, um, and I also go further and I said that I pray that the U.S. is never... Uh, goes against her, meaning Israel, because um, this will be our downfall if we do. And um, and I go on to uh, further in this prophecy, but I've done a video on this, so I won't completely um, go over this. However, um, I always ask for confirmation, for scripture confirmation, and I will add that because um, it's very important to um, test the spirits absolutely 
Um, and the Holy Spirit gave me uh, Matthew twenty four eighteen. Neither let him which is in the field return back to take his clothes. And the Holy Spirit said, I will divide and destroy anyone who comes against Israel. War is at hand. War is coming to the United States. Be battle ready. Holy Spirit is speaking of spiritual war in this sentence. Um, but he also reminded me of, you know, that many times um, I, I've done other videos about actual war. Um, and he reminded me of a vision yesterday of a mustard cloud. Um, and greed. God hates greed. Corruption and greed are the culprits of war. This war will start as a holy war for those who come against my people. War, God's wrath, and the Antichrist, death, deceptions, treason. I am praying for mercy and for protection for the United States and for all Christians, and praying that non Christians come to know Jesus. So I wanted to confirm this, and I. I struggle with confirmations because I don't want people to think that I'm being boastful, um, but I feel it's very imminent and I feel um, it's very important to um, confirm. At least he was putting it upon my heart for some time now. Um, there's a lot of um, natural disasters that he's asked me to confirm. And, and like I told my friend, Nicole, I didn't want to be boastful, um, but it's also um, very important because it's for the glory of God. Um, making confirmations on, you know, prophetic words that have been spoken to me. And then when they happen, it's it's more about God the Father. And it's not about me because I'm just a conduit. I'm just a, uh, you know, like a conduit uh, for the Holy Spirit and for the Lord Jesus Christ. So um, I just want to give God all the glory. And I want to thank Jesus Christ um, for just loving, loving me and loving all. And uh, God bless you all. Have a good night.